Hello everybody, welcome back. Today's block is called Coxie's Camp. It's from my Quilt Builders card deck. I'll show it there a little. Um, we're going to make the 12 inch block. So for that, we're going to start out with two different fabrics, two of each. They're going to be two and five eighths inch squares. I don't really like uh, fractions, but that's what we need. So that's what we did. And we're going to sew these into a four patch, just like that. So I'm just going to pull them over there, just fold them over. And we're just going to go over and sew them up real quick. Line it up best I can. Get the next one. Go iron them open. And I'm just gonna iron them to the red just because there is no real reason. Now we're just gonna flip them like that. Just line them back up opposites. And we're gonna flip that over. And since we iron them both to the same color, they will line right up. in the middle and the end and I'm just going to hold the top the beginning one and we'll sew that up get in there easier From right along, we're going to iron this open. All right, next, we're going to, I don't know what you call it, box this in. I think it's a, uh, I don't know what it's called. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you anyway. So we're going to take our two, I chose this green, and these pieces are, it called for three and seven eighths, but I ain't about that life as much as I cannot be. So these are four inch squares. I have two four inch squares. Oh, it's not gonna be big enough, so let me grab my other ruler to cut these. And we're just gonna cut these corner to corner. So I'm gonna line this up, the edge of my ruler there on each corner. Hold it down pretty tight and get them apart. Then we're going to put them on these four edges. Now we're going to do opposite sides and I'm going to pin them. Normally I would fold that and get the middle, but I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to line up my point on my seam. And I cut it a little bit big, so it is going to go over the edges here. So we're going to pin it in the middle. Move it gently. Pin it at the end-ish. I'm going to pin it at the beginning. And we're going to flip it around and I'm just going to take this up. Now I'm going to fold this back so I can get my middle lined up. Right there. And I'm going to pin the middle first. And then the end. And I'm just going to hold the beginning because I'm just going to walk it over there. We're going to sew both these sides. Okay. 
lining it up as you go or keeping it lined up as you go oh, it slipped on me but it's okay I'm just gonna pull it around waste a little bit of thread but it's okay line this one up go back over and we'll trim those threads they were extra take the pins out we'll iron these open now we're going to do the same on these other two sides I'm going to line it up the edge there in the middle point on my seam line I'm going to pin in the middle and at the end and at the beginning on this side let's flip it around and we'll do the same thing I'm going to line up my point with my seam and then the end here or the middle I mean I'm sorry and the end and I'm just gonna hold it at the beginning like last time let's cut that off before it frays too much We will cut these threads because they're extra. And iron these open. See, it's a little more than a quarter inch there, but that was expected. So there's our middle piece, but we're going to trim that. So we're going to take this ruler and I'm going to line up, I'm going to use the side here that has the straight lines and I'm going to put my quarter inch on where it crosses right there because that's where I want my point and I'm going to trim that off. Now oh, that's a straight line. I also lined it up down here with the edge, but now when we turn it around, I can do that again. I can line up my straight edge and my quarter goes right across the point. So I'm straight here and I'm going straight across. And we'll do it all the way around. got tape on this one so it's a little sketchy and then this side let's 
All right, so now we're gonna lay that to the side actually. And we're gonna move on to our border. So I'm gonna lay this just over here all the way. And we're gonna take these two. Now these pieces are, I've got four of each, two different colors, and they are two inches by six and a half inches. And we're just gonna sew these down one to each other, yeah, just to each other, four sets. So I'm just gonna pull them from my hands. I'm just gonna hold them and we're gonna sew those up. Pull them all over. cut one too short so we're gonna so this one and then I'll pause the video and cut my other one all right I'll be right back you won't even know I'm gone Okay, I actually just went ahead and sewed up that fourth one after I cut it. I cut it about a half an inch too short. I'm not sure what I was thinking. So I'm just ironing these open, these strip sets. I'm putting them all to the same side, but it doesn't really matter. Or same fabric. Now we also need, on top of all these other squares, we need four our corners these are what size are these these are three and a half inch squares so let's lay it out these are our corners this is our middle and now I want this the same fabric so I don't want it to touch well maybe I don't think I want it to touch so let's lay it out that way on half and this way on half yeah I don't want it to touch so now that's our block so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sew these two or these three together these three and these three and I'm just gonna pull that from the sewing machine and we'll be back for the next step so we're just gonna sew our little pieces into rows one I'm going to sew from I'm going to pop a pin in this end here and I'm going to sew from this side so I can try to get it to go right across my point there how well I did but we'll find out pull the next one over
Now we'll cut the first row off and sew our corner to the other side of our stripes. Strips, stripes, whatever. Keep going till we're done at all. Making sure I put the orange next to my green. So it's not the same fabric. Pin it. that pin out and line it up a little bit there and our last one Go iron them open. So I'm going to iron the, the middle piece, this one, to the orange, to the stripe set, strip set, whatever. And I'm going to iron the other two to the, well, actually, I'm going to iron them all to the strip set. And then we'll lay it back out making sure my orange is touching the green now we'll move that out of the way so I don't burn myself let's move that out of the way too because it doesn't need to lay there we're gonna pin our seams and of course at the end They lined up pretty good there, didn't they? And you know what? I'm going to pin it from this side, actually. Because I want to sew it from this side. Let's repin that. And then we're going to put one, we're going to fold that up, make sure it sits a little bit flat, which it does. We're going to put a pin there ish. And now we're going to make sure our orange is touching. I'm going to fold it over, but then I'm going to hold it together and flip it over. Cause I, again, I want to pin it from the back cause I want to sew across. I find it lines up a lot easier for me. If I sew from the side that I want the point on, or that, you know, has the, well, you know what I mean. Pin there. I'm going to pin the beginning on both these so I don't lose track of it. And then we'll put one in there. Now we'll just go sew these up and then we'll see what we got. Pin 
something got caught on my apron. Just one more seam and we are done. that loose. Iron it open to the outsides. A little right there, but it's okay. Probably wouldn't even notice if I didn't point out my own mistakes. Maybe. I don't know if you would. So there it is. Again, it is called Coxie's Camp. I don't know. I never heard of it. But I do like it. I really like these fabrics. So it is, again, a 12-inch block. I think I said 10 inches. It's a 12-inch block. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you make the block and love it. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day.